Happy Thanksgiving, everyone! It's so nice to see you. It's been a while since the Jake Allen video. And I might as well get it out the way before I talk about Tyler Devoli being a Montreal Canadian. Um, a lot of stuff has actually happened with the Habs. Let me try and fix the frame. Sorry. I mean, I mean uh, 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 they signed Josh Anderson after they traded Max Domi for him. The draft was boring. Uh, free agency was kind of boring. Taylor Hall went to Buffalo and all the Montreal Canadian fan bases were mad about it. Um, Jeff Petrie resigned or extended his contract. Whoops a daisy. Um, you're probably wondering, Adam, what are you doing? Why aren't you making videos about it? Uh, that's simple. You might be able to kind of tell my voice or as I open my mouth, you can see the bands in. Uh, last month, I got double jaw surgery. And surprise, surprise, when you get surgery done in your jaw, you can't really talk for a while. Um, I mean, Brendan Gallagher probably knows he had to get jaw surgery after uh, the playoffs and all that happened. But, um, so obviously, if, if I can't talk, I can't really shoot videos, obviously. Uh, I, in fact, I had to take a hiatus from the podcast file. But I am back in full force. And what's, you know, triggered this video today... I was waiting for Montreal to do some sort of big move, and here it is. I have the tweet in front of me. I'll put it on screen now. The Montreal Canadiens have agreed terms with forward Tyler Toffoli on a four-year contract. The deal has an average annual value of $4.25 million. And from Chris Johnson of Sportsnet, this trade, I'm sorry, this deal, this signing, doesn't include any trade restrictions, and that is huge. Because not only did Josh Anderson just sign that mammoth 7-year 5.5 per, but he also had a bunch of trade protection. And this is huge, because who knows what ends up. You know, this opens where you only 100% have to you know, cover him for Seattle if something happens, even though I clearly want him in the plans long term. But what does this mean for the Canadians signing this this guy who is a Stanley Cup champion of L.A.? Um, Vancouver loved the guy. He was great there. But then with their travel, you know, sort of cap issues... He walked away along with every other free agent they had. What are Montreal getting besides, you know, those sort of accolades? What is the player? What is Tyler Toffoli? Well, he scores goals. <laughs> Four times in Tyler Toffoli's career. I'll put Hockey DB up right now. He has scored over 20 goals, uh, including this past season when he split a campaign between the LA Kings and the Vancouver Canucks. And in that stretch with the Canucks, 10 points in 10 games played. Again, I mentioned before, won the cup with the Kings in 2014. Shoots right, right winger. And all of a sudden, you start realizing Montreal's right side of the offense is Brendan Gallagher, Tyler Toffoli, Yoel Armia, and Joss Andrews. And I'm not ranking them, but oh my god. Uh, an injury last year had, oh, excuse the outside noise. An injury last year had Jordan Wheel, you know, catapulted onto uh, the top line. You know, the power play option of him because he was right handed. And all of a sudden, the Montreal Canadiens options were rather just suddenly wide open. I mean, what did the Canadians really want this offseason? What did they need to improve upon? Yes, they were a fantastic even-strength scoring team. I never shut up about it. But they just couldn't score on the power play. They haven't been able to do that for years. And all of a sudden, with a guy like Josh Sanderson, see what you want. He has had a scoring touch in the past. With Tyler Toffoli, oh my god, a proven between 20 and 30 goal scorer. Another year from Suzuki and Kakinemi on the way there. We all know what Gallagher is about. Addressing scoring. Mark Bergeron has done just that. And everyone thought the Habs had just swung it. They didn't even offer Taylor Hall, Hall a deal. And Bergeron was all of a sudden, you know, the big villain around town. As he sometimes tends to be on these off seasons. It's just, I just love it so much. I mean, if you want to, you know... Uh oh, let's just throw up maybe some line projection here to kind of see what the Canadians are looking like adding Tyler to Foley. A quick sort of, you know, what the lines could look like next year. Obviously, the Dino gallagher tatar line is probably going to stay intact. Then you could possibly have a second line of Suzuki, Drouin, and Tyler Toffoli. Maybe even, you know, but you put Anderson there and then put Toffoli down with Kakinemi and Byron. Or maybe you put Lekin out there or a fourth line of Lekin and Armia and, you, and Jake Evans. And then, of course, the back end. Oh, and Jordan Wheel is the extra man there. And then on defense, you have some sort of... I mean, Petrie Edmondson, we already know, is going to be a thing. Weber and Sherrod are a normal pairing, or sometimes Mete is put up there. But, it, you know, currently we can look at a Romanov-Mete pairing because Victor has gone back and forth playing left side. 
Kulak's cool, like, the extra man there, but when you think of Juleson and Fleury probably knocking on the door of that lineup, it looks kind of like Kulak maybe on the way out. That, or maybe a Paul Byron. Uh, with that, you know, what, three, about $3 million for a few more years, apparently from David Pignato. Plus, with that up right now, um, he has been shot. Because Montreal right now are 300 k over the salary. You can be 10% over for the, uh, the offseason, so there is time for a move. But... That is a decent look. I think that's a, I think that's a pretty good team. I think that is. These are the kind of moves that I think everyone thought Bergeron would pull off after last offseason. The Canadians missing the playoffs by about one point, and everyone thinking, "All right, let's go out there, let's get a score." Everyone was looking at Matthew Shane as that option. My dog, he's barking. He's so happy right now. I know Diesel. It's cute. This is awesome. He's happy. And, you know, let's nickname Tyler Toffoli Diesel. Why not? Just for that. I don't know. Um, he's still happy about it. This team looks a lot more complete. A lot more well-rounded now. And, I mean, the back end has a mix of, okay, you can guys who can maybe lead you on the rush for Petrie and Mete. And then just a murderer's row of big, burly defensemen in Edmondson, Sherrod, and Weber. And what can be a condensed season... That is not going to be fun against. And looking at these sort of projected lines, you could seriously roll everyone last year. It's like the Canadians were a four-line team. Well, unfortunately, I love Dale Weiss, but you know, having your fourth line with a Dale Weiss or a, you know a Jordan Wheel consistently, you're not really a fourth-line team. And we saw against the Flyers that fourth line, except for Jake Evans, were kind of slashed out of play. If you've got Lekkinen and Armia on your fourth line. That is a weapon. Every single line can be deployed. Boom, Gallagher. Oh, you hate to. Oh, no, here comes Drew and Suzuki to fall. Oh, no, here comes Josh Anderson. Yes, man, cocky. Oh, no, it's Lekin and Evans. What are we going to do? And what if you get past him? Oh, there's Shea Weber when you try and cross the blue line. He's going to crush you. Oh, when we get through them, oh, no, Carey Price is there. We can't score in that. Like, that is a nice lineup. And plus, a capable backup in Jake Evans. Jake Allen, sorry, a good backup in Jake Allen. I love this team again. I love them. I love them so much. This is a team that I legit, and we are very, this is very, obviously there are big names still on the market. We don't know how every team's going to look out. Maybe Florida gets Petrangelo, who knows. But right now, I think it is fair to say this team has a very strong chance of making the playoffs next season, whenever that happens. And I could not be happier about this. Oh my god. The, the boy, Bergeron's done it. He's done it. He's made a move in free agency. A big one. No more no more Jordan Wheels. I'm sorry, man. No more Dale Weeses. We didn't have the whole Carl Olsner. By the way, he got bought out too. That was the whole thing. The Canadians, they're looking good. What do you think of the Toffoli move? What do you think of this team now? Maybe you have some projected lines that you would, you know, kind of think would work. I'd love to see them in the comments below. This is so fun. This is so great. I'm so happy, aren't you? I will see you all next time. There may be a video maybe recapping all of Montreal's moves to date on the off season. Um, I don't know, though, because some of it's old news. People really want to see it. Maybe just an update. Maybe a grade sort of thing on how Bergevin did in the entire off season when it comes to a close. Um, we will see though, but thank you very much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, you gotta do that. You'll know whenever I post a new video in your feed. Um, also, if you hit the notification bell, that'll happen too. Uh, like the video, it helps spread the word out. More people can see this stuff. Or just share the video yourself on wherever on Twitter and that. That'd be fantastic. Um, you know what? Be sure to check out the description for a link to the podcast. Our next recording is Wednesday. And yeah. I think that is everything, and I will see you all next time.